Though the beasties at war with each other are enough of a hindrance on your journey, there is one creature so foul that every beastie in Elfame would put aside their differences if it meant taking her down. Some say, however, that even if everyone in Elfame rose against her, they still wouldn't stand a chance. Welcome to this month's update. We got a ton of progress done, so I'll try and cover as much as I can. The first thing we started on was putting more detail into the map of Elfame we already have, essentially making them into maps for use in-game. We also have a lot of backgrounds ready to be pixelated in the full game, developed by our artist Michael. Gameplay-wise, there's more pixel art and skills for the new beasties, leading me to the new look of the battle screen. As you can see here, there's no longer a whole bunch of info cluttering the screen. You're now only given information on the skills you have selected, either in inspect mode or select mode. This is a lot less overwhelming than the system we had back at EGX. You'll see some improvements to gameplay before you even get into a battle. We swapped out the old 16x16 sprites for some more traditional RPG ones, with animated enemies as well. Right now the enemies make no effort to chase you around as you move, so most encounters are avoidable. But we have plans for something a little bit more unique. We have a couple of new portraits for dialogue based on drawings by Michael and pixelated by myself. I've released everything I've just mentioned in a demo on Patreon. It's been updated throughout the week with bug fixes and graphical improvements, so if you downloaded it when it first dropped, give it another go. The rest of you, don't worry, we haven't forgotten you. At the end of the month, we're aiming to get a public demo out with a lot more replayability than this one. Something to keep everyone going until the full game is out. For now, I'd like to thank my patrons on Patreon, and thank you for watching. I'll see you soon.